Yeah, and we are back. Ooh, just in time for a sunset. Ooh. Ah. Ah. Right. I can't. That was weird. Oh, oh, oh. I'm having a weird lag. Can't get out of. It's the keyboard that I'm having issues with. It's not the game. The keyboard's being laggy for some reason. Yeah, clear line of sight of the transmitter and everything. I'm just in a power cycle. I'm using a wireless keyboard, so... There we go. Back in action. It is very dark at night. Snorlax says, I've actually recently gotten into Dauntless. Quite fun. Yeah, I told you so. I'm still playing. I haven't played for a couple of days because I've been busy doing other stuff and streaming uh, Ragnarok Builders 2. Yeah, I'm still, still enjoying the game. Right. Let's continue. I could say thank you very much to Night Crusade for gifting five Planet subs. This is going to go on for a little while, so Planet sit back and relax. Thank you ever so much. And overload the chat with the Motocons of Gratitude. Thank you very much, Night Crusade. Hey, pat on the back. Pat on the back for this guy. Oh, one of those was a resub. Hey. Two resubs. Not hey, a good one as well. Pat on the back. Pat on the back for this guy. Nice. You've just been exposed to still lurking, by the way, nerdy. I see you there. <laughs> and music show for the two. <laughs> I feel like it's been a while since we've had a gift sub come through. I mean, we had a gift sub last weekend, I think, for a single person. But a, a group gift sub, a community gift sub. I think I feel like it's been a while since I've seen one of those. So thank you very much for your generosity and kindness. Uh, no crusade. Okay, lol, have means something to help. Yeah, that's the new thing with Twitch. It, uh... You don't need to be continuously subbed for it to count as a resub. You can take a break from subbing for whatever reason if you need to, or you don't care about subbing anymore or whatnot. It uh, does keep track of uh, the continuous months as well. But also, if you get a sub badge for, say, a 12-month sub badge, and you let your sub lapse, you still retain the 12-month sub badge once you resub again, if you resub again. That kind of stuff. Pretty cool. It's a really nice thing for uh, Twitch to do because I mean, yeah, it, it takes uh, some of the guilt or pressure or or, or uh, I don't even know what the word is looking for, but yeah, it, it makes you. What is the word I'm looking for? FOMO, fear of missing out. So if you have been subbed for, like I said, six months or 12 months and you got the badge, it means you don't have to feel like you're going to miss out if you just can't afford to sub that month or two months or you lapse for a year because the, the, the person was streaming Fortnite and you don't care about Fortnite, then they went back to streaming Minecraft or something. <laughs> Whatever the reason, you get to keep your badges and stuff anyway, is the point. Should probably 
some chicken. How did you fix your distant jaggies? Mm, what do you mean? You mean the aliasing? Actually, I should double check the settings. So some of the settings got reset when I installed the new version of Optifine this morning, apparently. So let's have a look how I am set up. Uh, where is there in here, isn't it? Yeah, so I don't have any stropic filtering on. Bitmap is anti-aliasing is off. Custom textures is off. Custom mods off. Custom sky is on. I don't know. It might have to do with the fact that the compression of the stream helps blank out some of it. Um, I'm running at 1080p. Native. Um, So let's go make some more. Sploosh. Wow. Glass structures look cool from the inside, don't they? <laughs> Looking from the outside. Let's take a step back over here. It's going to look pretty cool, I think, when we're done get the whole scale of the thing and get some details into it. Fortnite is everywhere. Well, I mean, there's there's Fortnite... Uh, some sort of tournament going on at the moment right now, isn't it? The World Championships or whatever they're going to call it. Yeah, so Fortnite's a bit extra exposed right now. Minecraft is getting so fucking really... Well, I mean... The, the shaders and the ray tracing text packs, this is all community-made stuff. None of this is Microsoft's or Mojang's doing. How the game looks right now in this in this stream. Everything you can see has come through someone not even not even affiliated with Mojang or Microsoft's. <laughs> and quite frankly, I don't know why they don't hire some of these people. Put them on the payroll. Obviously, know what they're doing. Then again, if they're doing it for free, why would you pay them? Fuel in there too. No point going to do different boxes when I'm doing that. And we need more light blue dye. Uh, nope. Oops. Just set to 64 maps and I set to max settings. Jaggy's my bugger off. Set to feel. Yeah, I don't know. I would just start fiddling with stuff, see so yeah, you go. Minecraft's visual settings have always been a bit flaky sometimes, so I don't know. Do you know what to tell you? I mean, I think this... Um, I think this shader might have some aliasing built into it somewhere as well as well. Let's turn mapping. Post shopping. Surface options. Let's make the texture smoothment. 
Specular texture metalness, that's a new option I haven't seen before. What does that do? Which channel would green, blue, or alpha read from a specular texture to determine metalness? Ah. Interesting option. Screen space. Yeah, I don't know. Actually, where are we? Let's turn that on, see what this. All this is reset. Turn that on as well. That needs to go on. Yeah. Hardly hit the frame out at all. Neat. Yeah, I forgot to double check all my settings before I started streaming because, like I said, I did reinstall, or, or not reinstall, but install the newest version of Optifine and stuff. It seems to have reset some of my settings. It doesn't normally do that. It's not supposed to do that, but it did. It's the best part of Minecraft Java. If you want to go to another planet, like to craft, yeah. I mean, Java has, uh, has its issues, but... It's also got its joys. Where did I... Ah, oh, there it is. Alright, we'll have to go around the other side. Uh, on the Nexus, they have a thing we can... Opt your mods and do an extra donation punch. Use donation points to buy gift cards, your favorite retailers, and more. It's a wonderful thing. Minecraft, Modpack, Resource Spec Makers are the same thing, so you can easily support your favorite makers. Yeah, I mean, the guy who's making this ray tracing shader does have a Patreon, and that's how you get access to the development and experimental versions of it, because it's not released to the public yet. Like, like when it is quote unquote done, or at least ready, ready enough, it will be available for free, just like his other shaders are, but for right now, you have to be a $10 a month patron supporter to get access to it. And he's actually making decent bank by doing that. It's a lot of people excited about it. Actually, let's have a look. How many, how many patrons does he have right now? Let's see. Patreon.com slash Sonic Ether. Uh, no, that's the posts page. The main page, please. Yeah, so he has 5,237 patrons, and he's making $44,000 a month from Patreon alone. That's not insignificant. <laughs> That's a lot more than I make doing my YouTube thing. A lot more. An order of magnitude more. In fact, I don't even know if I make that a year. We should have a patron. Uh, in fact, I certainly don't make that a year, especially not in considering that's USD as well. to tone map. Yeah, I have actually played with the tone maps in this most recent update. I should have a little play with those tone maps. I haven't actually messed with them yet in uh, since version 6, I think. Nanny, what? Yeah. It's, uh... Pretty good. I mean, there's a lot of people excited about what he's doing, and he's obviously very, very talented. And it's nice to see someone getting a decent payday from doing this kind of stuff as well. It's like I said, Microsoft don't give a fuck. The only problem with that is I've seen some people in the in the community get pissy and accuse him of working slowly so he can draw out more money. Oh, you're, you're deliberately, you're deliberately making the update slow. 
so you can get more patron money, scumbag. Fuck off. Oh, what a creepy thing to say to somebody. It's one guy doing this. Crying out loud. Of course it's going to take a while. Like, literally no one else has ever done this. Not for Minecraft, anyway. Alright, let's have a look here. Options. Video setting shaders. Shader options. Alright, what do you say? Try the Uncharted TU turn map. Don't crash, don't crash, don't crash. Ooh, it does give things a sort of nice little glow to it, doesn't it? Just a bit sort of softer somehow. Not dramatic, but... Ooh, although I don't like what it did to the cobblestone. That looks a bit harsh on the cobblestone, doesn't it? No, it's just the lighting. Not even a programmer and I know stuff uh, like this on your own is going to take you a long while. Yeah. But yeah, the, the irony is, like I was getting to, the irony is that because of the patron, it's allowed him for the first time to actually do work on shaders full time for the first time. Because, you know, he's been making shaders for Minecraft for as long as anybody, actually. Zeus is one of the most popular shaders out there. Uh, Sonic Ether's Unbelievable Shaders. I'm sure you've heard of it. And the irony is, this is the first time he's been able to actually devote efforts full time to it because of Patreon and people are giving him shit because of it. Wouldn't you do it in, in, in his position? If you could make 44 grand a month doing something you used to do for a hobby because of the love of it. How many people would go, nah? Nah. The other side of that is that money will, will dry up a little bit once he does release the finalized version for free. People won't have to pay for access anymore, so they some of them won't. I mean, it's not like development's going to stop, but still. I'm sure a lot of people are paying that $10 a month at the moment just so they can play with it. Or make content with it, in the case of some YouTubers who specialize in Minecraft stuff, I'm, I suppose. Probably uh, only paying for it now because they don't have any option and they kind of, quote-unquote, need to have it to make content about it, because the, the ray tracing content uh, is popular. In fact, I'm probably about due for another go at it as well. It's been a while since I've made a video about it. Might be time to make my own little video updating it, now that I've got a good will to show off with it as well. Yeah, because it's totally worth making content about. Alright, so that's shoulder level. And again, we don't have too many leftover blocks. That's nice. Didn't waste any glass. Although we are going to need more of that for the sh uh, sleeves, aren't we? Yeah, certainly are. Um, so let's mark those out. Let's have a look here. Uh, four, so we need to go eight down, basically. Well, this is always the tricky bit. I forgot to do this. Um, it might actually be easier if I move that scaffolding to the outside again and start. Missing suits for my Sky Factory forward. It probably runs pretty good on Sky Factory, doesn't it? Quite a, a much more limited amount of blocks to trace light from than a vanilla world. Because you're in a void, except for what you build. <laughs> Actually, probably probably do well for a stone block as well, because that's a very limited uh, view distance by nature of being stuck underground. Rather than being on the surface like this game is. I hadn't thought of that. Let's pop around the... Let's go up to kind of the center. 
No. Go up, please. Up! What are you doing? Someone actually remade Mirror's Edge in Minecraft. <laughs> I'd see that. Yeah, that'd look cool with retro. So. Um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to CD Projekt's Red's new game. I don't know whether you heard about it. Some some c cyber cyberfunk or something it's called. I think. Uh, that's gonna have ray tracing in it, but that's that'll that'll come with the Nvidia flavor of hardware accelerated ray tracing. All right, let's see here. How am I going to do this the easy way? Oh, it's hard to see. One, two. It's very hard to see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You're going to call that eight? One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, no, we're just a bit low. Okay. So that one needs to go. All right, there we go. We've got our base measurement there. Uh, doo -doo. Get out of the way for now. See? So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just level with the shoulders. Good. Okay. We are we are we are where we need to be. Cyberpunk twenty seventy. Yeah, I was I was being facetious, Line Cake. I, I was. The joke was that everybody knows about that fucking game by now. That's why I was pretending not to remember the name. I've done that every time I talk about that game for the past uh, couple of months, I think, actually. The fun part of that is some people get really pissy at you because of it. I can't believe you can't remember what it's called. <laughs> uh, I got a 2080 Ti for it. Yeah, I'm really hoping I get to hang on to the Asus 2080 Ti that I'm using at the moment. I've had it for a few months now, but it is technically a loan unit. So I'm, I live in constant... What the... I'm just sliding about like I'm on ice. Keyboard doing a weird thing. My keyboard's doing a weird thing again. What are you doing? It keeps dropping the, the, the connection. keeps flashing. The wireless connection. Why are you doing that? There's nothing in your path. You're like a meter and a half away from the transmitter. Oh, I wonder if it's... Give me a second. Okay. I'm going to unplug the transmitter from the Sennheiser headset. Maybe that's interfering with it. I mean, the headset's off. So I can't imagine why, but still. Alright. Um, now, how long are these sleeves? One, two, three. No, so we're eight again. Uh, one, two, three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, and let's bring us this over the village. Excellent. Kind of hoping it would overlay that. I mean, of course it was. I was just wondering how much by. I was hoping I would reach the buildings. Didn't really actually measure that out. Okay. Let me an MSI Gaming X. Oh, I do like the X trios. Kind of, um, actually I'm not sure how far out I want to come with these sleeves. This is kind of a suck it and see kind of measurement on this end. I'll try that. We could always adjust it later. They might look appearing. Uh, cool, so we need more light blue. I was just saying, the, uh, the MSI Gaming X trios are 
basically the choice um, for the MSI cards, except for the Lightning. The Lightning, they make in sort of limited runs. It's a little bit faster and overclocked and they look badass, but I don't know whether it's worth the extra price between the Gaming X Trio and the Lightning, honestly. I've never actually run them side by side, so... Even when I was sponsored by MSI, they wouldn't give me a Lightning to play with. <laughs> Heartbreaking. But all that said, this is the first time I've played with one of Asus's high-end GPUs, and it has just been friggin' glorious, I tell ya. Uh, really, 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 really hope they don't ask for it back. So I want to keep it it's so good. It runs cool, it runs just silent, it's so powerful. Oh! Geeksinger's senses tingle every time I look at it. Uh, and let's just be mindful about how much of this we make. We don't need that much more. Whoops. Did it again, didn't I? Exactly as I said it, I clicked the wrong... I, I, I meant to release shift and I held down shift and it's just... Whatever. Oh, welcome back from lurk mode, nerdy. CD Projekt Red is the only debit sense above the inventory. Yeah, I keep waiting for the other shoe to drop, though. There's still a, you know, there's still a corporate entity. Sooner or later, they're gonna... They're gonna do the wrong thing by somebody and people get pissy at them. But for now... See what I missed there. Uh, no, they can't trust CD Projekt because the most part. Seeing the industry at the moment, I might for Digital Foundry review. Uh, I mean, I love Digital Foundry. And I've met the guys. At various events and things like that. But their reviews? I don't know, man. Their examination of the technology and performance and stuff? Good. Actual review review? I don't know, man. I don't know if it's a bug or what, but every time I spawn in a new world, I find a random congregation of wood planks, either in the ocean or in the ground. We find them in the ocean, there might be remnants of a shipwreck. my plan of action. <laughs> Look at all the giant golems milling about down there. There's so many. This perspective makes me feel not good. <laughs> Getting a bit of vertigo, are you nerdy? Alright. I'm, I'm gripping the squat button so I can't fall off.
problems. We'll leave a gap of that so I can get up here. And I will admit, looking down at this point is starting to get a bit disorientating. Especially with how this glass looks in this texture pack slash shader combo. It's like when you're standing on top of one of those buildings who have those glass floors at their top. For the, for the tourist thing. get another stash of scaffolding so we can do the other arm without tearing down the one we've got on the other side because we're still going to need that down to the head. Oh. Actually need to make more scaffolding. Where do my... Oh, there it is. So where did my string go? Sound to take shape there. Yesterday you said about possible new emotes and in certain types. Yeah, I never actually made any action last night on that, but I did think about it. I think I certainly want a damn it camera one, because I'm always swearing at the video game cameras in third person perspective games. Because none of them behave properly. I don't know. Any thoughts, suggestions, requests? Uh, out of the existing ones, I definitely want to keep uh, the smirk. Rage um, and the Derp. Probably keep the Blunt Love as well. Probably replace the D Lurk, that hardly ever gets used. Um, the Death Emote, keep that I think. You can probably get rid of that between these two faces, they can kind of serve the same purpose, maybe. I don't know. Either way, I feel like I want to replace a few. Probably replace the Beer Bomb or something. Rip headphones. We don't use that much, but it is one of the classic ones around here. Hype. I at least want to redesign Hype. We tend to use Hype a bit, but I've never really loved the way that one came out. Okay, let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's take a stab at this around about there. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven. Nailed it! First try. Up oh, and thank you. Put that there. Uh, face, now we don't need a face palm because that's that's what the derp is for. Although. Face palm and the dirt will get used slightly differently, won't they? I feel like there's enough face palm emotes out there, though. I would like to have some emotes that are useful for people outside of my channel. I can use in other people's channels, not just mine. So get rid of some of my faces, basically. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, got to give you an update. Solved my Dell visor and got the Lenovo one. Ah. How's that working out for you? Okay. 
Okay. Close these. Seeing the matrix where Neo tries to climb on the outside of the building. <laughs> you mean where he totally pussies out? Yeah. Apparently, that building is one of the one uh, one of the bits they shot in Sydney. But I don't know what building it is. Not have been shot in Sydney. Maybe they just it was the outside scene they used for Sydney. You guys know that the scene in the Matrix where is where he's like trying to warn Neo about how agents can be anybody. The girl on the, the woman in the red dress scene. I walk past the fountain in that scene quite a lot. It's still here in Sydney. Advise it better. It's more comfortable. My head. Don't have any more issue with the right controller sucking battery strike or issues with voltage issue. Ah, cool. Glad it solved your issues. Are you saying you're an agent? Possibly. Could be at any moment. Wait a second. Too many. There's the purple haze. Oh, I love it. Oh, the city lights coming through are nice too, isn't that? A little bit of fraction going on. Glad I never got rid of that lava flow. So good. Alright, am I above water right now? I can't even tell anymore. It looks like I should be. Yep. <laughs> Gambled and won. Uh, purple haze is extra purple with the inch. Yeah. A little bit even more purple than it was with the other uh, tone map. Used to work in the building where you climbed on the outside, Nerdy? Mm. I think it's a little bit more hazy with this turn map as well. Just looking at that distance over there. Oh, well, the glass got in the way. And cut through the haze. Pair of polarized sunglasses. perspective here. Oh, I see what I've done. Whoop! Whoops! 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 That was close. <laughs> Slight panic mode there. Everything's fine. Saved it.
Yeah, perfect. I'm just look at the reflection of the scaffolding on the inside of him here. And get a bit goofy with the reflections. Ray tracing taking so hit too. All this glass we've dropped to 33 frames a second now. Yeah. Five. Thirty. Too much rays. Fuck that. Why would I play GTA Online? Oh, did I? I missed a few squares there as well. Talk about exploitative game design. Oh, hey. Yeah, you can spend real money in our online casino in a video game, but it's not really get. It's not really gambling because... Technically, for gambling, you'd have to be able to get your money back. Which you can't do, because this is a video game with pretend money and microtransactions that you buy for real money, but you can never change it back for real money, so therefore it's not really gambling. Ha 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 ha! Fuck you, laws! Fuck you, anti-gambling laws! Yeah, no. Ah. Uh, pass. On supporting that kind of creepiness. Hard pass. most gross thing that Take Two Interactive have done in a while. Take Two do a fair few gross things. Uh, I've only come out one here as well, haven't I? Damn it. It's getting real hard to see exactly what I'm doing. All this transparency. Sorry, yes, it's surprise mechanics, not gambling. My, my bad. Yeah, get that off now. You're not required to. Oh, for fuck's sake. Don't, don't even start with that. Well, it's, it's optional. Don't have. Yeah, fuck off. It's not the point. The Australian government and ACB see loop up mechanics is close enough to gambling. I mean, it is. It is. It's it's it is gambling. They use every trick that gambling uses. The only difference is, like I said, because you can't get your money back, it's technically not gambling. It's worse than gambling because you've got no chance to recoup any loss. It is literally worse than gambling. Damn it. Even more exploitative than gambling. Did you hear about how the casino update is actually blocked in like 50 countries? Did not hear that, no. Not even remotely surprised though, because like I said, it's gambling, but with, it's a bit worse. 
even more sleazy and exploitative. My thing back. Yep. Gotcha. Uh, there's still a hole up there, isn't there? Countries that consider gambling illegal, who thunk? Right? Yeah. Surprise, surprise. Where is that hole I left behind? There it is. Wink. Okay, now we're back on track. Except for that. God damn it. Why did you not fall? Oh! Fine. Come up and get you. Stack across it. I should stack across it. Here's my arrow. There we go. Okay. Time for some head. Government won't understand the issue and just make the problem worse. Yep, that's what governments do. That is the only thing they ever do. Make things worse. Because they don't understand the issue they're trying to fix. Because they're all stupid old rich white men who are so woefully out of touch with an actual human experience in their country. They wouldn't even know where to begin. Let's put the blue away. Uh, also, that is where we're at it. And let's make some green. Let's make some more green, because that wasn't nearly enough. Oops. Okay, bunch of green. We're good to go. Let's sleep for a sec. Are you changing the color of the head? I haven't built the head yet. Can't change it if I haven't built it yet. What are you talking about? Consumers just need to say no to the practices, the industry will change. <laughs> That's cute. And in an ideal world where everyone was well educated and not an idiot, sure, that might work. Meanwhile, all they need to do is exploit the dumbest amongst us. Guy. 
Mm, thank you very much. Vikon, 16 months. Resub, 16 months already. Really. 16 months. Let's Eesh. go. Tongue hope all is well, Blunty. Tongue hope all is well. Excellent work there. Speech, text to speech. That's exactly what they uh, meant to say there. All right, now for this head, we are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so it's sixteen altogether. Two out there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait, what am I doing? Eight, one, ten. ten. Did I make those arms eight? I did. So we need to go four out on the side. That. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, sixteen high again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Okay. realize your character isn't rendered in the ray trace function yeah no there is the ability to turn on entity reflections for creepers and and all the other hostile guys but the play reflection just doesn't work just because of the nature of the way minecraft itself works um oh there we go and you can see the refraction works there are my legs and the reflection there works in the uh third person or third person camera you can get it to work but yeah in first person mode because the game doesn't actually render the player model at all when you're in this mode there's nothing for the game nothing for the ray trace to the, to reflect that's why when you look down you can't see your own feet because the game doesn't render the character model when you're in first person mode at all I haven't tried this with multiplayer yet, but in theory, multiplayer you should be able to see other people reflected. I've counted as entities just like creepers and zombies and stuff too. Um, so I'll just abandon that glass down there. Dang, your PC's a beefy boy. Sure is. I'm hoping by the end of the year it gets even beefier because I'm waiting for the third gen. Uh, Threadrippers to see what they're all about. So I am due for a rebuild on this machine. Wait, did I go too far out? One, two, three. No, that's right. Yeah, this machine's going to get a rebuild by the end of the year. New case, new motherboard, new CPU. Probably keep most of the rest of the stuff though. Yeah. All right, head base level done. Question becomes: Do we do the inside of the head all across the inside here, or just come to the shoulders and neck like that? I don't know whether you can actually notice a difference from the outside. I'll leave it like this for now. See if it looks weird. If it looks weird. We'll come back and we'll do the inside platform. That also might change as the ray tracer gets more advanced as well. So right now it doesn't mix colors through glass. And I think the intent is to try and get that to work as well. I use it often when building my friend's server. I can see runs through. Hey, I thought so. Yeah, you can see multiplayer reflections. Figured that'd be the case because, like I said, it works. It works in third person. Uh, 
that's it, you know, it's the same rendering as well, actually it's not reflecting my whole body for some reason right there and it should it's cutting me off at the knees interesting it might have something to do with the block depth so we're one block deep right there ah, whatever Functioning screen space reflection there though. Let's have a look at those settings. Uh, ray tracing options: screen space reflection tracing is on. Full ray trace is on. Screen space go. Oh, we have global animation. Then we'll turn that back on. Uh, yeah, that should be. more intense, isn't it? Well, I'm still only reflecting half my body. Odd. paying attention I've built out the inside of the head anyway oh well might as well keep going now <laughs> what's done is done but all distracted by the talk of reflections wasn't paying attention to where I was building never my mind and what I am doing where I am no points for guessing that paraphrase Planning on getting a 3900X here soon. Yeah, I've got one of those sitting right next to me right now in the review unit. Uh, the plan for that chip, so I do get to hang on to that. Uh, the plan for the 3900X is I'm hoping to be able to upgrade the motherboard that's currently my ga my secondary gaming rig. If you type in exclamation point rig, you'll get the things. It's currently running a 2600. But I checked the other day and the motherboard, which is gigabyte motherboard, they do have a BIOS update that will support the third gen Ryzen's. So I'm thinking about putting the 3900 in that. The original plan was to replace this machine entirely with the i9 rig I just built for the uh, H210i case review. But uh, the motherboard that I got from Asus for that build is only a loner, so that build has to be unbuilt. But fortunately, the 3900X is pretty much on par with what the i9 can do anyway, so... Plan B. The, yeah, the, the green from this glass does remind you of Jell-O a bit, doesn't it? Or Jelly for Australian. It's got that, that lime jelly colour to it, doesn't it? And good upgrade coming. Oh, you're upgrading from a 1700? Yeah. Oh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a just a just a monster. Yeah, the 3900 x is uh oof. It might be the best consumer level CPU that AMD have ever done. All things being relative. They have nailed everything down with the 300 x My, I'm out of green. All right. Um, let's go ahead and put some scaffolding on the inside here so I can get in and out of the head a little bit easier. No water on that side of the scaffolding. Am 
liking the purple lighting from this rig. Yeah, so it's the, the, the experimental thing I did on the H210i with the colors is, is nearly what I'm looking for. It's like I said, I mentioned, I mentioned a second ago. I'm planning on rebooting my main rig. And right now it's all a black and green with a little bit of red and black, thrown, or sorry, red and white thrown in there as sub colors. Most is green. You, you guys have seen it, I'm sure. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm going for a white and purple aesthetic for, for the rebuild. So I did that for another rig earlier this year, and I really liked how it came out. Yeah, but the H210i build, I need to find a better color for the liquid. It wasn't quite as vibrant purple as I was hoping for. Um, but yeah, white and purple is a really nice color scheme. I'm digging on at the moment for the builds. I thought we bought back way more than enough glass or sand. Turns out we still It's alright. It's not like we don't have an entire desert full of the stuff to mine, so no big deal. Alrighty. Uh green dye. Bye. Alright, let's get more of that. Red and black, yeah, red and black do look good together, but I, I avoided red and black for a while because it was overdone for a while, in my opinion. I feel like I've seen fewer and fewer red and black systems most recently, probably because a lot of people got a little bit bored of them like I did. So they might be coming back. But yeah, red and black has always been a fantastic. What did I do? I bought I bought back light blue dye, not green. Red and black has always been a fantastic combination. Uh, green is what I wanted. Thoughts on Pokemon Sword and Shield. Have we learnt anything new about those recently? Did I seriously bring back just four pieces of green dot? God damn it. Back we go again. What am I doing? I'm losing my mind. Oh, right, because they're not stacking. So I spread those out in hopes to cut back on the amount of cactus I was bringing back. I wonder if the dye works in the smoker. Sure doesn't. What about the blast furnace? Sure doesn't. Alright then. We'll purpose one of our glass ones for the time being. Zoop. Zoop. I don't know whether you notice this by the way or not, but the ray tracing even works on the glass I'm holding. Looks like a Cylon. Into number six. Yeah. Dee, 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 dee. Red and black is my favorite color scheme, and because of the set of five, and his red and black theme to it. Yeah, it really does, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean the Devil's Crevice, the the first custom built PC I made in ages. And the first one I made for the make a video out of on the on the YouTube channel, I guess. Uh, that was red and black. There's no recent information, but I haven't uh, been here for a while. What are your thoughts on it? Well, no new thoughts. Excited to see what it is, but we don't know enough about it to make any real calls. Gameplay we saw at E3 was pretty intriguing. I like the, uh, I like that we finally have a free camera in the open world. Kind of like the concept of the bike that turns into a boat. It seemed kind of fun, but I feel like I'm kind of kind of miss the ride Pokemon. Thought that was a good idea for that kind of stuff to avoid the HM issues. But yeah, 
Very much looking forward to playing it. Big Pokemon fan. Last game I really like is Cyan and White. That was myself. Yeah, I've only seen a couple of builds go Cyan or Pastels and things like that. I've seen, I've seen a few pink and white builds. They look really good. I prefer something a little more on the uh, sort of crispy, clean, feminine kind of feel. Um, that was a really good... Uh, I think it was a DVA or Diva Overwatch custom mod thing that I saw at PAX Australia last year that was all pink and white. It looked really good. Roman Cooler Master, half X cases with a big thing. Oh, yeah. Those big fucking things. Monstrous. I think I still sell those, actually. Pretty sure they still sell the half series. Bit, bit, but one that was teal and pink purplish. Yeah, I don't watch him anymore. Always kind of shat me. Finally gave up and unsubscribed a while back. This guy just tries too hard to be clever or funny or something. It always just felt a bit cringy and flat to me. Yeah. I'm sure he's a nice enough bloke, but his content's not for me. I got the half uh, 932A and the half. Yeah, I don't know the models off the top of my head, but yeah, I know the series. I like rainbow things, not just pink. Yeah, I've thought about doing a rainbow P, uh, custom mod a few times. Like I've got some ideas. And I always think to myself, you know what? I should do that in time for like Pride Week or something. Pride month, I should say. But then I always forget about it, and then and then, then when the thought occurs to me again, I don't have the budget, and eh, never quite come together yet. But I've got some neat ideas for a, a rainbow slash pride kind of mod. Another sort of flag? Yeah, it's a cute one, isn't it? Cute little pride flag emote. Oh yeah, I filled in the inside of the head. I forgot. I was going to drop all the way down to the water, but <laughs> damn glass. Uh, oh yeah, but I did that too. All right then. Keep your secrets. Uh, I'm going to poke a hole somewhere here. Here will do. That way I'll remember where it is. No, don't do it there because you'll stand on it and fall. Does that even matter because you're over water? Let's do it. I don't care. I'm outside. Damn it. Took the hole in the wrong place. <laughs> Glass is hard to work with when you're using a ray tracing shader pack and <laughs> uh, it's the only one I got, it just happens to be pan. Oh yeah. Oh, a pride blog. Yeah. More rainbow. Got a glass. Okay. That was that was the head of blog going by on the floor there, so I guess he's in the right position. Oh yeah, the sun is right behind him. I thought it was a bit oh, I thought it was a bit off alignment for that. Yeah, but it looks like we get the blog shadow coming right through the base. Perfect. A little blue tinge on the floor right now. We're going to get dark blue in a second. Oh no, by the time we get to dark blue, that's when it comes off axis. That's what I was spotting before in the legs. Ah, oh, we get the head and the chest though. And we cross our, our base here. That's awesome enough. And the legs go elsewhere. Uh, do we catch the edge of them? Yeah, we catch the edge of them. There we go, this is the blue. Is that still? No, I think that's still the chest. 
Let's see if we can spot the change. There it is. There's his hips. So yeah, so we just catch the hips as they come through the base. Oh, makes me happy. I'm a fan of hips, especially the curvy kind. Bet you I'm not alone on that one. Can't see the inside of the head. That's fine. Oh, did someone else ask about the texture pack? Yeah, got a command for that. Stream game DNA is on it already. Thank you. I remember a few weeks back you were talking about building a Borg cube build. Did you go into it? No. I did I did do a few searches, but it seems like the case that I remember being a perfect cube that was kind of a double uh, an ITX slash ATX case that was a perfect cube. I couldn't seem to find it. Uh saw so Omen PC has the big O. Is the Xbox One? Yeah, I saw that build, but yeah. Yeah, the, the case I had in mind, I don't think they sell that anymore. Could not find it in a storefront anywhere. Couldn't even find the exact model number for it, actually. Might have been imagining it, I don't know. Hey, Jesper. Sabercat mini bus, you defeat and drink us, build us too. I just beat it. I wanted to be friends. Mine didn't ask me to be friends. Yeah, I've actually seen a screenshot of people riding those things. Like as a, as a mount. And I keep wondering if that's going to be exposed to me later in the game. Or I missed my opportunity. Yeah, because mine, when I defeated mine, he just, he just went dead and gave me the trophy. Uh, uh, thing to put up near my base. Didn't want to be friends. But I guess I, that was before I learnt the recipe for the Monster Munchies, though. Now that I've learnt the Monster Munchies recipe, maybe now, next time I run across one, I'll get a chance to tame it. And use it as a mount. As a cube 802. I don't know, let's have a look. Uh, 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 cube 802. No, it wasn't that one. Although I do like that one. It's got that HP Omen kind of thing to it where it sits on its corner. Yeah. So does that support ATX and ITX together? Hard to tell from the pictures I'm looking at. I can't see any pictures of the back panel where the I.O. would be. Alright, let me bring it up on Newegg. Oh yeah, seems like it's got two spots for I.O. Oh no, no it doesn't. No it doesn't. No. Cool looking case though. Uh, they're amazing to ride. Oh, they can do a double jump. Nice. I think it's random if they'd be friends to give an item. Yeah, probably. Well, you know, I know where to find them, so. Ruined computers for bench boxes? Sure do. In fact, uh, the very first time I modded a PC, it started out as a beige box because that's all that was available at the time. 
because modding was born by people like me who decided we didn't want our computers to be beige boxes. Like, when I was first modding PCs, it was before you could just buy a cool looking case. They were all beige. I could get a couple of black ones, but even though they were pretty boring looking. But yeah, modding was started by uh, people bored of beige cases. We painted them, put uh, cold cathode ray tubes in them because LED lighting wasn't nearly as what it is today. Um, so we used parts that were designed for car modders. Cold cathode ray tubes, things like that. They were designed for car modders. And the reason we use them is because they ran off 12 volt. You could pull a 12 volt supply off your computer pretty easily. Because there is a 12 volt rail inside or coming out of the power supply of computers, as well as 5 volt. Uh, and we would manually have to cut windows in the side panel, like you'd use a Dremel or a uh, hole saw whatever material, you know, a coping saw with a metal cutting blade in it. I did that a couple of times before I got a Dremel. Uh, cut through the aluminium side panel and use a silicon caulking gun kind of thing to mount a uh, perspex panel on the side for a window. Yeah, all of that started back in the day with guys like me who were just hand modding up PCs and these days you can just buy a cool looking case. Do it easy mode. Got windows in them already. Um, oh yeah, then there was the acrylic case fad. Where people would have perfectly clear cases. Every panel was acrylic. You can still get those actually. There's still a few Chinese manufacturers making those. You don't see them on too many shelves these days, but you can certainly order them still. Can't see what I'm doing. There we go. The last one I've seen was Millennium Falcon that uh, took up a whole dinner table. Nice. Actually, I never, I never did release that. Uh, Star Trek Enterprise mod they showed me. Should have been on the market by now, according to them. Hey, 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 I'm hey still planning on hey, doing that. Hey, Krillin, hey, hey, Krillin, what? Someone followed. Game Slayer, thank you for the follow. Why me? Quack! Alright, so that's the basic head shape done. We're going to come back through and put the face in later. Alright, let's start on the arm, I guess. How much green have we got? No, we need way more green. I've got two left. See the Lian Li O11 Dynamic. Don't think I did. Let's have a look. Uh, oh, yeah, no, no, I'm well aware of that one, yeah. Not what I'm looking for. Yep, 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 yep. It's a nice enough looking case, but. Seen a few builds done in that already, actually. I think last year's packs was a couple. Oh, that's one you just got. Okay. okay. 
Well, we didn't get much from that batch, did we? might have seen was a uh, wait no read that already golem for mining and fighting is crazy powerful a lot of running around leveling mountains all oh, right in dragon quest yeah uh, with a, uh, had, a, had a few issues with that one shoulder here somewhere I meant to it's not all right you reckon I can jump off the edge here and swoop inside the arm I'm gonna try it probably should try it in the other arm because that's where water is but ah, what's life without risk <laughs> missed we had this world um we started this world when the first snapshot for 1.114 came out so whatever whatever weekend that was that's when we started this world that's a question i get a lot in my you'd think i'd remember to just make a note of the date and make it a command for moobot so we do to get we we do get that question at least once a stream don't we someone new comes in they go oh you've, you've 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 built up a fair amount of stuff how long have you been working on that for um oh wow graveyard looks cool between uh, through the glass well shit <laughs> <laughs> i knew that glass saw me would kill me sooner or later i knew it i would have been fine if i just eaten after the last drop all right then, looks like we need to put a new uh, new piece of uh, block on the Grave of Shame. Uh, which for a fall is glass, I think. Where's my... Where is my... What have I done with it? Where's my marker for the Grave of Shame thing? I think I forgot to leave it off when I redid my stream deck stuff. No, it's not there. I'm pretty sure it was glass for a fall. Let me bring it up manually. Uh, emotes. Do, do, do. No, that's the rip. Sandwich. No, nope, that's the thing. Rules. No. Nope. What have I done with it? I don't know what I've done with the overlay. Is it here? Mm, nope. Well, it was glass anyway. Uh, which I just so happen to have a piece of right there. So the thing I was doing there is I normally have a little graphic I can pull up. I have a rule in this world. Whenever I die... Uh, I have to put a block on the grave of shame in the graveyard over here. And the uh, material that block is made out of, it has to come from my inventory for a start. So I have to sacrifice something. So in the case of being killed by a skeleton, it's a bone block. Creeper's TNT. Uh, and various other blocks and pieces. And for a fall, it's glass because glass is breakable, you see. If you drop glass, it breaks. It's like me. It's been a while since we've actually had to put a block on here. I feel like it's been a few months. And look, my last my last two deaths are falls as well. <laughs> See now that I've got I've got all I've got, you know, my enchanted armor and my good weapons and stuff, mobs aren't as much of a threat as they used to be. There we go. Ooh, it looks kind of weird from this angle. Ray Tracing is doing weird things with his under his arms there. The reflections. Uh, 
Death Eclipse and in the D in the Discord, yeah. Alright. Let's ring the shame bell. Weird lag there. Shame. 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 That was a shameful death. Just just back walked right off the edge. No concept of where I was or what I was doing. Just distracted by the ray tracing again. What was that noise? Oh. The uh, software I use for the control of my lights behind me is wants, wants to restart. Uh, can we do that later, please? I'm in the middle of something. Thank you. My Moobot break reminder is out of sync too because I went too long on my first break, so. So it was my PC? Yeah. It's always, always in it. It's the same when you hear a, a message alert tone from an iPhone in a in a TV show. I just go, what? Oh. Alright, what am I doing? Standing on the arms. should be some kind of rule that all streamers have to change all of the default sounds for Windows so people don't get confused. It sh there should be an application that does that in one click. Changes all of the default Windows sounds. Just for streamers. stuck on then. That's weird. Hey Jim, I think. How you doing? Friend has the sound of an Xbox One booting up as his tone. <laughs> that would be infuriating. Where's my reference image? Let's see how long these arms should be. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So twenty-four in total. What have we done already? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah, so the arms always feel a bit short at this scale. We'll do it, Mum. We can always extend them. Let's have a look from the ground as well. Finished episode two of Dragon Quest Builders 2. Nice. Hope you're enjoying that game as much as I am. So I am really enjoying that game. Let me just steal that block from there. Just so we have a continuous line here. Alright, do we have water? We do not have water below this arm. Oh, yeah, we do. There's a little pond down there. Wait, is that, that's not a pond, is it? That's just grass. But that was a pond for a minute there. This is the pond here. Can I make that? I could probably make that. Off this end. Yeah. Easy. Easy! 
nearly overshot it, actually. <laughs> Shouldn't have jumped forward. Yeah, see, so I think that's going to look like... That arm is going to look a bit short. I don't know. I don't know. get some more green dye cooking as well. Oh, we have some there as well. Sweet. Uh, so refuel while we're here. Missed one. Man, we are just chugging through the resources here. Last blog is expensive blog. Freak out with the jump. Didn't mean to freak out with the jump. It's been so long since I played PS2. Forgot the shell makes creaky noise when it heats up. Yeah. Is Bar going to spew something? I don't think so. Because he's made out of glass, there's not going to be an elegant way to hide the mechanism inside his head. We may make him permanently spew something, because so I'm toying with the idea of just filling him with water. This is glass, so we are going to be able to see the water, especially if we put bubbles up, bubble columns up through him as well. But filling him with water is going to be a bit of a challenge all on its own. Maybe we just fill his head. And that way he can constantly leak out from the front. And I'm gonna have to do some experimenting when he's done. But only two of the three pre existing blogs have actually spewed stuff one that does water, and one that does lava. Third blog, his whole gimmick was he was enormous and also a drowned because he was half submerged in water. That was his whole, whole thing. So, yeah, I don't know if we're going to have an additional gimmick for this guy beyond being crystal blog. We'll see. Um. Yeah, we could literally turn his head into an aquarium. Put fish inside there and everything. <laughs> That's a fun idea. We'll fill him with fish. A squid in his head. Oh, getting a squid up here is going to be a challenge because they won't spawn this high up. We'd have to bring a squid up in a minecart. I've, tr I've done that malarkey before. That's a pain in the ass. A 
It's doable though. We could pull a scooter from there and mine cut up to here pretty straight line-ish. But I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm starting to dig on the idea of turning his stupid head into an aquarium. The only issue then is... We'd have to have some sort of system to get up to his head. And as we've seen, just putting the scaffolding can look untidy, because no matter what side you're looking at it from, it's going to show through. We could do a... Ooh, there's a thought. A bubble column of water up through the central line of block. So we could swim up. Uh, yeah, old turtles. Can you even can you move dolphins? I've never seen a dolphin in a boat. I know you can get a turtle in a boat, and therefore probably a minecart as well. I've never been. I've never seen anyone move a dolphin. Only way I could think to do it is you could dig his legs down, fill it with water, and hope for a dolphin to spawn inside his legs. Give it a name tag to make sure it doesn't despawn, and then swim it up somehow through a column. leads on dolphins. Yeah, but trying to use a lead on one to bring it up here is going to be an issue on its own. Uh, you can use, uh, sorry, like the squid they suffocate? Yeah. Let someone deliver a dolphin to my base once. Okay. Yeah, I can't imagine it's easy, but it seems like it's doable. I do like the idea of filling his head with fish. Fish heads, fish heads. Holy poly fish heads. Oh shit, did it again! Survive this time. Man! <laughs> this is dangerous! This is just dangerous. Lethal blog. It's the only blog I've ever built that tries to kill me constantly. I do you notice that I can actually see how dark that glass is there? It almost looks like he's floating on the water instead of touching down onto it. I wonder if there's a way we can address that. These stubby little arms. They are correct to scale, but they do look stubby. We may have to extend them. I think I've extended the arms on all the blogs because I've hit the same issue. Now that I'm full of hearts again. Oh yeah, there's a thought. We can't we can't fill his head with fish and then have him puke because the fish will wind up just falling out. It's pretty they won't naturally generate this high up.
Easy. Nearly did it again. It's it's the blue. This is the blue and the blue. It's just difficult to see what I'm doing. Um all right, we definitely don't need that. At least we do actually. Not bad. Alright, um what did I say? How many? 24, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 7, yeah, 24. So, come back, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Doesn't seem right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen out from this. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Oh, it is. It just seems off kilter. All right, then. of water at the bottom and filled his entire body with water they would probably naturally make their way back up to his head to be picked out again possibly if there was enough of them I don't know that purple here. And I just lost the ability to see what I'm doing. It is remarkably dark in the shader at night. I keep saying it, but I'm always shocked by it. Mildly. Was a good choice, looks right. Yeah, I love how that lava flow looks. It's just the right amount, too. Not too much to look ridiculous, and just enough to look cool and unique. I wonder if that's going to be enough glass at this point. We've got another batch cooking anyway. We're going to need more glass for something eventually. I feel like that might be all the glass we need to finish off his arm. of the length of the arms.
Where is the top? It's top. Alright, where am I at? Lost my orientation. Sat in my room at my PC only taking breaks to eat and do chores. Good. Alright, nice to meet you, Peggy. Is that so? If you say so. Shadow grow there. Uh, right. Actually, thinking of lava. Make him spew lava, he'd be just constantly glowing with that light at night, wouldn't he? turn it on and off without making some redstone stuff ugly in his head. I do skip the night light, yeah, but still. So I'm going to have plenty of green glass to finish off the arm. So I guess I'm busy again. Ray tracing. Ray tracing is a uh, rendering technique that makes light in video games work like actual light does in the real world. And once I finish off the top of this arm, I can show you an example of what I'm talking about. Up holes in his arms, but for now. Oh shit! I miscalculated. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Okay, so ray tracing. Whoops. In most video games that render reflections, they do what's called screen space rendering. And that is, I can only show you stuff in reflections that's in screen space. So if you look at this tree here, it's in screen space. It's on the screen. It's being rendered. And that means it knows how to render it there in the water as a reflection. But in games that only use that rendering technique, as soon as something's off screen, uh, we are on the other side here. I'll show you. Uh, like that gold tower there. It's being reflected. If that was off screen, it wouldn't be reflected anymore. See how it's still reflected? You can still see it in the top of the pond there? That's ray tracing. It takes into account the path of light, whether or not something is being rendered on screen or not. It's one of the things ray tracing does, and it's one of the reasons ray tracing is a much more realistic way to render lighting in video games. The other thing it does is you can do stuff like this. 
you trace the path of light through the glass and that, know, that way it knows how to color the glass in a realistic way there. Lighting mixes like this, it reflects off surfaces like that even when they're not being rendered again. So if I go on top of here, can't see that red cube anymore, right? In regular rendering, you wouldn't see the red reflection on the floor or on the side of the block there. All that kind of stuff. The reflection on this diamond block is an actual reflection of what's behind me, not faked. All that kind of gear. It's uh, computationally expensive to do, and you can even see on the glass in my hand. If I tilt down, you can see it, ref it realistically reflects an actual depiction of what's outside. There we go. Even the stuff that I can't see myself. That's that's part of what ray tracing does. Just makes light work like real light. Oh, light in video games work like real light. It's much more naturalistic uh, way to do things. Any remember an anime trading card game called Duel Masters? Vaguely. It's a Yu-Gi-Oh ripoff, wasn't it? Came, came after Yu-Gi-Oh, hit it big. My graphics card is only a 1050, so I can't use ray tracing. Wrong! This kind of ray tracing I'm using right now is done computationally on the CPU. It has nothing to do with my GPU. Like the machine that's running this at the moment is running on a 1080, which is not one of NVIDIA's ray tracing cards. RTX, the ray tracing that NVIDIA does, is a hardware implementation. They use their own custom hardware to make ray tracing uh, easier to do. It's not the only way to do it. And it's not like ray tracing didn't exist until RTX came along. Ray tracing has been in use for about 30 years. It just was, uh, we never had the power to do it in real time in video games until recently. But it's been in use in computer rendering forever, since computer rendering was a thing. Uh, yeah, it's only it's only recently that we've had enough computational power to do it in real time in games, and that's part of why Nvidia did what they did with the Artex series and made hardware to do it in real time to take the load off the CPU. Right, what was I doing? We'd finished off the arms. I came back to do something else, and I forgot what it was. Now for a start, I need some blue glass to patch up the shoulders. So we'll start with that. Oh yeah, and the shadows too. Perfectly realistic shadows, because again, it's tracing the light, which also means it's tracing where the light isn't. So if it knows where the light is, it knows where the light isn't, so yeah. Shadows and everything behave perfectly as they should. You can even get refraction through the glass and things like that. It's clever stuff! Should have a circle. Yep. It's just a little circle at your feet. Actually, I don't know whether that still does it in this. No, it doesn't, does it? And a lot of other shaders do shadowing as well, but again, usually only in screen space, so it only casts the shadow of stuff that's on screen. Whereas ray tracing can do stuff that's not on screen, so you get proper shadows from even behind you and stuff. Zoop. Is a lot of stuff going on with light IRL? We just say for granted? Oh yeah. I mean, you know. Of course we take it for granted. We're, you know, 
since we're born, we just kind of instinctively process the what light's doing and reflections and all that kind of stuff. And you never really think about it until, of course, you start making a video game and you try and get to make stuff look realistic. And lighting is a big part of making things look believable. Boink. Splish. The other thing is, the shader does caustic some water so you can see all these reflections from the surface of the water shining through. Is that something else you can do here? Ooh, hello. There's a little black hole above me where the shader is not working properly in water. <laughs> Never noticed that before. Yes, this, this, this ray tracing shader is still a work in progress, by the way. It's not done yet, so it's not perfect. <laughs> Alright, uh, what's next on the list of to-dos? I guess... I guess next we strip down the scaffolding and start putting in the little bits of green for his shirt tuck and stuff. There's a little shirt tuck on the back of a zombie around here somewhere, so we'll do that little tag. Uh, and there's one in the front corner as well, so we might as well do that. That should be about right. Uh, so how do shaders connect to the game? Are they a resource pack? Are they more complicated? Uh, it's a, it's not it's not like a resource pack, but it works in very much the same way these days. You'll need to install a program called Optifine, O P T I F I N E, uh, and from there, it will give you extra video options. So you go to video settings, just like you would for resource packs, but instead you get more options now. And one of the options Optifine give you is a shaders option. So you click that, and much like resource packs, you just pop all these things in a folder. Which you can go to shaders folder and bring it up for there. Uh, just like you do with resource packs. And you download these in much the same way as you do resource packs. And you select them in much the same way as you do resource pack. So yeah. As far as activating them in menus and stuff goes, they work a lot like resource packs do. But as far as the game code itself goes, they don't. So yeah, they're, they're pretty easy to deal with these days. Never used to be that easy. It used to be quite a... Quite an involved process. It's a bit of a pain in the ass back in the day, but these days it's really quite easy. Uh, should we bring it to a point? I think we'll bring it to a point. No, actually that looks a bit too long, doesn't it? That doesn't look right either. We'll go back to ground level, see how that looks. So you need Forge? Nah, for Forge and Optifine have separated long, long ago. Mm, no, that doesn't look right, does it? <laughs> to do is extend the tag on this side a bit. Right, where are we here? Well, this is difficult to see. Too much glare on this side. I think these are the ones I want. a bit better. Doesn't look like it does on the real texture, but I kind of like that effect anyway. We're not going to see him from this side much anyway. Well, we might. I'm going to build something in the middle of the lake here, so... That's, uh, that's pretty good for my tastes.
Do I have blocks floating inside Blog there? Looks like I do. I thought they were reflections for a moment, but there are no more outside. Very disorientating being inside here and looking straight up. <laughs> so weird. The scale of this thing just in glass is ridiculous. Okay, so we need a tag on the front corner here that wraps around the side as well, I think. Left some scaffolding up there? Yeah, no, there's still some scaffolding inside his head. That's fine. We've got to go back up there and do his face and stuff anyway. I am well aware of that. Please go up. Up! Ah, oh, the scaffolding's so fiddly sometimes. Stop. No. So it doesn't need a mod loader. No. Like I said, it's, it's built right into Optifine. You don't need any extra mod loaders or curse or forge or whatever it was. Is the oh man? It's damn it. It's difficult to see. That scene. There it is. That's the scene I'm looking for. Now the lighting's changed a bit. I can see it a bit easier. All right. So we'll take that, and that, and that, and that. See how that looks. Mm, could go a bit deeper. Maybe one more out this way. An Optifine room. Again, for the third time, no. You just install Optifine. Don't make me answer it again, otherwise I'm going to get pissy at you. I've answered it twice already. Rephrasing the question doesn't change the answer. Fuck's sake. Nothing gets on my nerves quicker than that shit. People thinking that changing the way they ask the question is going to change the answers magically. Doesn't work like that. been told twice already by me and at least once by Pookie. That's better. I don't think I'm going to put in the extra details. I feel like if we put in the knee creases and stuff, it's just going to look a bit weird. I think we'll leave them as a uh, crispy blog. Is that a piece of... What is that stuck in inside him? Oh, it's a glass slot. Okay. I'll, I'll just have to let that despawn. Actually, I can go and get it from inside, can I? Sorry, I don't have a good memory. What do you mean, good memory? I told you. <laughs> You're literally asking the same question like 20 seconds apart. It's got nothing to do with your memory. That's not a memory problem. That's a logic problem. I think I got it. That scaffolding's on the outside, isn't it? Yeah, there it is. Hmm. 
Yeah, the take care message is it's actually surprisingly easy to run shaders like this. Quite a lot easier than it used to be. Things always pop off of me here and scare me. You know what? I think maybe we're going to give them glowing eyes. I wasn't going to give this one glowing eyes. We usually do give them glowing eyes. I wasn't going to do it this time. I think this one is going to look kind of wicked with glowing eyes at night. for my customized glowstone texture as well. That could look pretty cool. Okay, so next up, we are going to need some black glass, I think. In which case, yeah, we need to go squid hunting. like a doll's eyes. Of course, there are zero squid. I do like being underwater. It looks so cool. Yeah, I need to get on that wither rose farm, I know. But I still haven't gotten three wither skulls. I can't even raise a wither yet, let alone arrange it so I get some wither rose. I've been hunting. Off stream, I've been hunting. Just haven't had any luck at all. Precisely zero squid. Oh, spoke too soon. They're all hiding over here. Farms are tedious and seem to have a breaking problem. Okay, what farms? This one who built one more server has two withers escapes. Oh, wither farms themselves, yeah. Now, uh, because of the, uh, the the bonsai pot thing I've got installed, I only need one wither rose. I get infinite die off it. Spawn every time I use it. Jeez. Yeah, no. Uh, like I said, because of the uh, the bonsai pot data bonsai pot data pack farming thing I use, uh, I literally only need one with a rose, and I can just pull infinite die off it, just like I do with the other flowers. I've tested it in a creative world, and it does absolutely work with the with the rose. So, bully. squid spawns. Oh, wait, that's a boat. I thought that was a squid. That's my boat. No wonder sharks keep attacking surface. It's tough to identify things under underwater sometimes. The light hits it wrong. Alright, that's ten. That should be plenty of black purposes of this anyway. Fun fact, you can't make dark prismarine with black dye. It has to be 
Inksects. Ah, that feels like an oversight. Although it is aquatic, so maybe it's deliberate. Either way, I don't think I'm going to use any, except for the lanterns, any of that prismarine stuff in this world. Used plenty of it in the last couple of worlds. Might be time to take a break from it. sand wind up in the output. Did I do that accidentally? Oh, smooth sandstone. Wait, what did I do there? Did I? I must have collected it. going to need more than 32. We'll just do 32 for now. Try and conserve that black dye. Then again. Oh, we had some black sand glass already. with doing some should we do some grey? No, black's probably fine. We'll try the black first and see how we go. Just in case we need more of that. How are we doing for time? Yeah, I thought so. Might be time for a break. Alright. I am going to sit there, take a quick break, make a fresh coffee. When we come back, FaceTime. Yeah, please. <laughs> 